people and welcome to my channel. Hope you're all doing good today. Uh, my channel is going to be covering various topics, uh, including race cars, race engine builds, um, preparing for races. There's going to be car reviews. Um, a lot going on, so uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please do feel free to leave comments in the comments section. If there's elements you don't like or elements that you do like, um, please do let me know because what I'll be trying to do is fine tune the channel so that it caters for everybody's taste. Uh, to start with, we're going to be covering um, an issue I had with uh, my last race last year, which was at Donington, where um, I was struggling to get some around the fast right hand corners. Um, well, I could get round them, but I couldn't accelerate out of them without spinning the wheels up, which is so unusual for my car because it's fully planted. But I found the uh, the issue, and you, that'll be covered in the next few minutes. Um, uh, the cause uh, it has been repaired. I didn't actually video that bit, unfortunately. But um, from now on, I'll be looking to uh, video as much as I can, keep you all entertained. So I uh, hope you enjoy. I was really struggling with the handling at Donington, uh, the last race out, and uh, for some reason it kept lifting off the front wheel and spinning the wheel up. And now I know why. That should not be broken. Just there. That should be attached to there. So the torsion bar essentially wasn't doing its stuff. Um, now I've got to try and work out how to fix that because I'm not sure if this plate comes off here or it's part of the torsion bar. Um, but we'll look at that, uh, might probably get a new one or have to get it welded up, but we shall see. But that would explain a lot, because we really struggled at Donington to uh, to compete. It was second off lap times, um, so that makes, uh, makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. 